I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough on the Gigabyte Aero 15 XC for video editing in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Now, the first thing I wanna point out before we look at the benchmarks is the Gigabyte Control Center. It actually listens to your preferences in regards to the fan modes and noise control. So normally a laptop considers those like suggestions where the Gigabyte Aero listens to you as hard and fast rules and will only go at 35 decibels on quiet mode, but then we'll ramp up to over 52 decibels on deep control mode. All right, let's jump right into the video editing export times. This laptop crushed it. I was really surprised that every time I bring a new laptop into my studio, it always gets better and I should stop being surprised. This laptop on 4K had the best export time I've seen on any laptop on my channel. And on 1080p, it exported a nine minute clip in 46 seconds. Stinking impressive. Now, if you're considering this laptop for DaVinci Resolve, know that I am using the free version, which really utilizes the CPU and only the GPU by maybe about 25 to 35%. So it's really not capitalizing on all that mighty RTX 3070 power. If you're using the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, then this would be a great laptop. But if just the free, I think you're kind of wasting your money on getting this much power for something that really just utilizes the CPU. I would go for something a little more affordable in the Ryzen lineup. Now, in regards to the fan modes, I was really impressed that no matter which fan mode I used, the export times were relatively the same and got great performance on each one. Now, if you're using this computer on battery, it took a little bit longer at three minutes and 18 seconds to export that 4K clip, but it really is trying to conserve power. And while talking about battery, if you're using this laptop to run 4K playback, I put a 4K project on loop and ran playback and it only lasted one hour and 34 minutes. So the battery life is not great. You're gonna wanna make sure you bring that charger with you. Now, one thing many people consider when purchasing a laptop is should I get 16 or 32 gigs of RAM? Do note that the amount of RAM you select will not affect the export time, but it will affect the playback. While using 32 gigs of RAM on gaming mode, I saw zero drop frames, but that same settings with 16 gigs of RAM gave me 1,185 drop frames out of the 16,177 in the project. That was at full quality. At half quality, it only had nine drop frames. Now, this isn't gonna be insanely noticeable, but it will be somewhat noticeable, especially as you start multitasking, the drop frames could increase. Now, what about fan modes? Running 32 gigs of RAM on quiet mode for the 4K playback, I saw 135 drop frames in the project. Running on normal mode with 40 decibels of fan noise, I saw six drop frames. And running on gaming mode with 46 decibels of fan noise, I saw zero drop frames. So really the optimal configuration for this laptop, I would recommend would be 32 gigs of RAM. Links if you're looking to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.